Number 1. Pandora's Cluster Astronomers estimate that this picture from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope represents 50,000 sources of near-infrared light. Their light has traveled varied distances to reach the telescope's detectors, resulting in a single picture that represents the immensity of space. To the right of the picture center, a foreground star in our own galaxy shows, Webb's unique diffraction spikes. The galaxies of Pandora's cluster, a conglomeration of already massive clusters of galaxies merging to form a megacluster, are bright white objects surrounded by a hazy haze. The concentration of mass is so great that gravity warps the fabric of space-time, creating an effect that astronomers are particularly interested in, a natural super-magnifying glass called a gravitational lens that they can use to see very distant sources of light beyond the cluster that would otherwise be undetectable, even to Webb. These lensed sources look red in the photograph and are frequently warped by the gravitational lens as elongated arcs. Many of them are early universe galaxies that have been enlarged and stretched out for scientists to investigate. Other red sources in the picture have yet to be verified by follow-up observations with Webb's near-infrared spectrograph. Number 2. NGC 1433 the James Webb Space Telescope captured this image of one of 19 galaxies chosen for investigation by the physics at high angular resolution in nearby galaxies team. When seen by Webb's mid-infrared instrument, the nearby barred spiral galaxy NGC 1433 takes on a whole different appearance. The spiral arms of NGC 1433 are riddled with evidence of incredibly young stars generating energy and, in some cases, blowing away the interstellar medium's gas and dust. Webb's infrared eye illuminates areas that look dark and dull in optical imaging. This is caused to clumps of dust and gas in the interstellar medium absorbing and radiating infrared light from developing stars. With Webb's extraordinary resolution, a compact, brilliant core with a distinctive Doubler ring structure sparklies in exquisite detail near the galaxy's core. The Doubler ring in this case is really tightly wrapped spiral arms that went into an oval form along the galaxy's bar. NGC 1433 is a Seyfert galaxy, which is normally near to Earth and includes a supermassive black hole at its center that consumes material at a rapid pace. The brightness and absence of dust in NGC 1433's MIRI picture might indicate a recent collision with another galaxy. NGC 1433 is located in the constellation Horologium, approximately 46 million light years from Earth. Number 3 Cassiopeia. A Cassiopeia A is a supernova remnant in the constellation Cassiopeia, approximately 11,000 light years from Earth. It is around 10 light years long. This new image shows Cass A in a new light thanks to data from Webb's mid-infrared instrument. Curtains of material look orange and crimson on the remnant's exterior, notably at the top and left, due to emission from heated dust. This is when the expelled debris from the destroyed star collides with the surrounding circumstellar material. This outer shell is filled with variegated filaments of brilliant pink, studded with clusters and knots. A green loop spans across the right side of the center hollow. Its structure and intricacy are unexpected and difficult for scientists to comprehend. The color red is assigned to 25.5 microns, orange red to 21 microns, orange to 18 microns, yellow to 12.8 microns, green to 11.3 microns, cyan to 10 microns, light blue to 7.7 .7 microns and blue to 5.6 microns. The information comes from the General Observer Program 1947. Number 3. Galaxy Protocluster The seven galaxies depicted in this James Webb Space Telescope picture have been proven to be at redshift 7.9, which corresponds to 650 million years after the Big Bang. As a result, they are the first galaxies to be spectroscopically proven as part of a growing cluster. 
The near-infrared spectrograph instrument on the telescope was used to precisely measure the distances and conclude that the galaxies are part of a growing cluster. Galaxy YD4, which had previously been thought to be farther away based only on imaging data, was more precisely put at the same redshift as the other galaxies. At extreme distances, astronomers use the term redshift to account for the fact that as the cosmos expands, light wavelengths are stretched and shifted to redder, longer wavelengths. Shorter wavelengths, such as ultraviolet and X-ray, are closer to the blue end of the electromagnetic spectrum. As a result, extreme distances in the early cosmos are defined by how much the light emitted there has moved as it travels across space to be caught by a telescope. Number 5, NGC 1365. Scientists are receiving their first glimpse at how the creation of newborn stars affects the history of surrounding galaxies using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's extraordinary resolution. NGC 1365, photographed with Webb's mid-infrared instrument, is one of 19 galaxies chosen for investigation by the physics at high angular resolution in nearby galaxies team. In the MIRI observations of NGC 1365, clumps of dust and gas in the interstellar medium absorbed light from forming stars and emitted it back out in the infrared, illuminating an intricate network of cavernous bubbles and filamentary shells formed by young stars releasing energy into the galaxy's spiral arms. Webb's superb resolution also detects numerous highly brilliant star clusters not far from the core, as well as newly detected, recently created clusters around the outer borders of the bar linking to the spiral arms which are only observable with Webb because to the dense dust in this region. Furthermore, the Webb photos reveal how the orbits of stars and gas differ depending on where they originate, and how this affects the population of older clusters outside the inner star formation ring. NGC 1365 is a double-barred spiral galaxy located in the constellation Fornax around 56 million light-years distant from Earth. It is one of the biggest galaxies known to astronomers, stretching twice the length of the Milky Way. Number 6, ARP-220. In this image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, ARP-220 shines like a dazzling beacon amidst a sea of galaxies. ARP-220, which is really two spiral galaxies merging, shines brightest in infrared light, making it a perfect target for Webb. It is an ultra-luminous infrared galaxy with more than a trillion suns of brightness. Our Milky Way galaxy, in comparison, has a far lower brightness of roughly 10 billion suns. ARP-220 is the 220th item on Halton ARP's Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies and is located 250 million light-years distant in the constellation Serpens, the Serpent. It is the closest Eulerg to Earth and the brightest of the three galactic mergers. The two spiral galaxies collided roughly 700 million years ago. It triggered a massive explosion of star creation. Around 200 massive star clusters live in a dense, dusty area 5,000 light years wide, approximately 5% of the Milky Way's width. This little area has the same amount of gas as the entire Milky Way galaxy. Previous radio telescope measurements indicated around 100 supernova remnants within a 500 light-year radius. The parent galaxy's centers were discovered 1-200 light-years distant by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. Each core contains a spinning star-forming ring that emits the bright infrared light seen in this web image. Number 7. Exoplanet VHS 1256b and its stars. The whirling clouds detected by the James Webb Space Telescope in the atmosphere of exoplanet VHS 1256b are seen in this picture. The planet is around 40 light years distant and circles two stars that are locked in a tight spin of their own. During its 22 hour day, its clouds are continually rising, mixing, and moving. Furthermore, they contain silicate dust. 
Silicate granules as small as smoke particles can be seen in certain clouds. Others have slightly bigger particles that resemble little grains of sand. Researchers discovered both brighter and darker cloud patches, indicating that some clouds are lower and hotter, while others are higher and colder. VHS 1256b is around four times as distant away from its stars as Pluto is from the Sun. A whole orbit of the Earth takes around 10,000 years. Its cloud cover reveals another fact. It is relatively young in astronomical standards, having originated only 150 million years ago and continuing to evolve over billions of years. The planet will get cooler over time and its sky may change from overcast to clear. This illustration is based on Webb's findings. At this distance, the camera in Webb's near-infrared spectrograph's integral field unit lacks the resolution to photograph the planet in detail.